Welcome everyone for a home technique session, a home Muay Thai technique session with me. Um, we want to have a look at how we can practice our round kicks, middle kicks, rep kicks. Uh, different people use different names. I mean the round kick which goes to the ribs. How we can practice this over a chair. Um, so, you don't need super much space for this. As you can see, I'm also standing in a kitchen here. And um, we want to go for some kicks over the back part of the chair. So, just put it somewhere where you have a little bit of space around you. And please make sure before you start that you have properly warmed up, that your hip is mobilized a bit. Don't kick out of the cold here. Um, so the focus of the exercise is really the rotation of the hip in the kicks. Uh, you have to do all the way to come over the chair. So you really need the rotation here. And uh, another focus is because you need to go all the way is to practice on going for the whole way with the kick. Yeah, in shadow boxing, I often see that people kind of go for half techniques. They go for half way, then they kind of stop and turn back. And I, um, I believe it's much better to always do the whole range of motion because your muscles will always remember. And I think you kind of train bad habits when you always tend to go only half ways, either if it's for the kicks or also for the punches. So here with the chair, we, um, we will throw some, go very easy, throw some light kicks over your chair as you would do in shadow boxing. Another focus, different than only in shadow boxing, we have something where we have to measure the distance to while we kick, right? Um, for measuring the distance, I, especially for this exercise, I like to use my my long stiff arm as kind of a, a tool to measure the distance. Whatever I can touch with my long front arm, I'm also able to kick. Yeah? So you can use it as a tool to measure your distance. Uh, for the rest, you know what I'm always telling and training about the, about the kicks. A few things I will repeat to remember which are important in my eyes. So very important, the standing leg. You might not see it perfectly on the video here. The standing leg is going up. You go up on the balls of your foot. Of your foot. Um, so you can really rotate on this one. Um, another important thing, one hand always stays in guard, also while kicking. The other hand, you swing back to give your hip even more space to come around and try to stay tall while kicking. Yeah, you want to stay in an upright position with the upper body to get tall, not to lean far back behind. So let's just have a look at it. We put the chair in front of us and here I start, of course, out of a stable stand my guard is up and I have a look, Where, where's the chair, where can I touch it? If I'm there, I make a step to the side and I throw my kick over the chair and go all the way around. Have a few kicks where you yeah, also concentrate that you will not get in touch or get hurt kicking the chair. After this, please also concentrate on not having your eyes always focused on the chair, but to have them somewhere where your imaginary opponent's chest is. Yeah, your eyes always go up and don't focus on one point on the ground. 
but first make sure you're safe in your movement coming over the chair. So this was our back leg. <clears throat> we will go over to use our front leg. I'm standing in an orthodox stand now, so my left leg is in the front. I, when I measure the distance with my arm here, when I have the same distance as for my back leg, I use the switch here. Yeah, it's the perfect distance for going for a switch to reach my target. Also here, after a few, please have your eyes a bit more over the chair, not focusing too much on the chair. It's hard because it stands right here, but also here, don't get used to bad habits. So another possibility for our front leg kick is if my distance is a bit wider. Yeah, you can see here, I cannot touch the chair with my long front arm anymore. I go for a walk-in kick. This means my back leg starts, makes a step. I'm switching stance here. Also here, I don't only go straight, then I end up here. I go a bit to the side, and from there, I can throw my kick. Long distance, walk in, throw the kick. Long distance, walk in, throw the kick. Okay, so we have three different versions how to throw our kicks over the chair with the back leg, with the front leg, and with the front leg with a walk-in. This is something you can, yeah, as I said, really nice practice at home. You will work on the rotation of your hip. You will use, you will practice using the whole range of your motion for your kicks. Um, and you can combine it in a home workout. Yeah, for example, as I said, please make sure you have a proper warm-up before you start. Have some mobilization of your hip. Now you can start, you can go for two minutes per side, kicking over the chair. Make sure you're not getting dizzy after a while because of all the circles. Um, and you can combine it two minutes each leg, then you go for two minutes of complete shadow boxing which you can also do in a rare spare. We have a, another video focusing on this. And you can go for, for example, for three sets. So you have three rounds of kicking each leg. You have three rounds of complete shadow boxing. You can then combine it with some body weight exercises, a short workout you can have a haul. You can go for a run afterwards. Um, and always make sure also to have a cool down, to have a stretch. Um, you will find videos for the different section that you can combine it and um, yeah, build your own proper training session out of it. Um, I hope you have fun kicking the chair. Uh, enjoy everyone. Hope to see you soon and stay fit and healthy.